My understanding is some of them politicians don't heard what I said to Ken Jennings about how I'd like him to come work for me. And they're, they're sitting around going, well, that's pay to play. You're basically going around bribing people to endorse you. All right, well, I'm trying to bribe four people with jobs I would offer them anyways, basically. Okay, so it's like I'm going out to the public and I'm saying to them, hey, y'all know me. You know I, I can't do this on my own. And uh, I, I, because I know that you know that, I want to make sure that you understand who I'm going to hire. And I'm going to hire this man right here. He's real smart. He ain't no Harvard person. He ain't no fancy-ass motherfucker. You know what Ken Jennings is? He's a smart man. He's a man that if I make a mistake, he will know it. And yes, I, I saw Ken Jennings comes from a conservative background. You think that concerns me? The thing is, I ain't judging books by their cover. That's not who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm judging books by what's inside. And that man knows a lot of stuff. It's kind of like Kat Temp. She, you can say, oh, she works at Fox News. You can never hire a Fox News person run as a liberal. Well, hire two Fox News people. Dana Perino, that's a special woman too. But I'm just saying Kat Temp, that's a, that's an impossible woman. There ain't, ain't very many women, women like that. All right, so is that pay to play? I think that's honest politician strategy because this honest politician wants people to know if you hire me, you'll know who you're getting there. You ain't gonna have no Hillary Clinton in the background. No one even knows she's there. No one even knows she's working for the government still. She's not working for the government. Wait, she is working. Is she working for the government? Because if she's not, that's called a covert intelligence operation that she's directing. And all I'm saying is I think it's been pretty clear to a lot of people Hillary Clinton has broken the law. I remember when I, I made a presentation on why Hillary Clinton lost, and the conclusion I came to in my presentation is that she lost because she ran as a first lady. She ran as a Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the guy that, don't notice me, maybe I win. I'll, I'll win, trust me, Donald Trump will beat himself. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to be a leader. I just have to exist because that guy is so bad. I'm going to run my campaign based on contempt and lack of respect for my opponent. And uh, all right, so that, that's a side note. Anyways, the Ruskies. Uh, I think the real problem is that y'all had with my code is that I didn't use NumPy because one time this guy that I thought worked for the NSA that was undercover came to me and had me help him with his homework and he was using NumPy and it was shortly after I didn't use NumPy during this natural language processing code I wrote, which it wasn't even actually, I didn't even write that code. I like manipulated the code and that's basically machine learning for a lot of the algorithms you can manipulate. You can take the code and then change out the values. And that's that's why I'm like, I'm, I can do machine learning. I use Graph Lab Create a lot. And uh, that's pretty much how I learned how to do machine learning, but I'm not real machine learning. I've used scikit-learn a little bit. Um, and I've st I, I, I spent a lot more time reading and researching than I did actually coding because I hurt my hand so bad. My hand's still real messed up. Um, I couldn't type for like half a college. So that actually helped me out in college because I, I learned instead of coding, which I needed to learn a lot instead of coding. Uh, that's it. So, Ken Jennings, if he joins my team, do you think he could join any team? Do you think anybody else could say, hey, I'll give you a job? Do you think any, anybody, like, you think specifically Donald Trump would like Kim, Ken Jennings on his team? Because Ken Jennings is from a Mormon background, which, by the way, I feel like I, I have to talk about it. My last name is Mormon. Like, not my, not John, Al, John Alexander. John Alexander's last name is Mormon. John Alexander Mormon. Um, and... I feel like a lot of people are like, well, he's a Mormon. And I said, I'm not Mormon at all. Uh, my name is spelled differently. But um, I don't care if you're Mormon. Um, I might judge you if you actually believe it. Um, but if you're smart enough like Ken Jennings, you can believe that shit all you want as long as you'll tell me when I'm wrong about whatever fact I'm trying to use. Um, but I feel like that man knows a lot, a lot about a lot of things. So he'd be a nice person to have around if I, if I don't fully understand what I'm, what I'm learning about. 